Welcome to the Elective Rotation Podcast, Critical Care Pharmacy Minute, where I discuss one critical care pharmacy thought in about one minute. I'm Pharmacy Joe of PharmacyJoe.com. When Altaplace is given for PE-related cardiac arrest, how long should CPR be continued? There's not an established consensus on this question. A 2002 study protocol in New England Journal of Medicine gave Altaplace 100 milligrams IV over 15 minutes, followed by an additional 15 minutes of CPR. A 2008 study protocol in New England Journal of Medicine gave Tenecteplase via IV bolus, followed by an additional 30 minutes of CPR. If thrombolytics are given in a PE-related cardiac arrest, it seems reasonable to continue CPR for at least 15 minutes after administration. One concern with giving thrombolytics with ongoing CPR is the risk of bleeding events should the patient achieve return of spontaneous circulation. A 2003 study in the journal Resuscitation found that major bleeding complications did not occur more frequently in patients who had CPR after thrombolytics for less than 10 minutes compared with those who had CPR for greater than 10 minutes. You can get links to the evidence for everything discussed in this episode at pharmacyjoe.com slash episode 273. And to get my six tips for pharmacists that respond to code blue calls, go to my free download area, pharmacyjoe.com slash free. It's number 16 on the list.